The CEO of Mountainside Fitness believes that his gyms are ready to reopen on Tuesday during the COVID-19 pandemic. But there's just one problem. A judge's ruling does not say that that is legal just yet. Team 12's Mitch Carr joins us now to explain what the ruling does mean and how people who just want to get a workout are being caught in the middle. Judge Timothy Thomason has already ruled that the governor does indeed have the power to shut down gyms to protect against the COVID-19 pandemic. And while Friday's ruling was supposed to clarify things, it leaves a lot of people with questions about what comes next. Earlier this week, a Maricopa County Superior Court judge ruled that Governor Doug Ducey ignored procedural due process when he closed gyms indefinitely, citing the coronavirus as his reason for doing so. Mountainside Fitness, which is suing the administration, took to Twitter to say its locations would open back up on Tuesday, August 11th. The administration sued to stop that, and Friday we got another ruling from the same judge. Here's how defense attorney and former prosecutor Jason Lamb interprets the ruling. It's saying that the state of Arizona needs to get a system in place so that gyms can apply to reopen. It doesn't give gyms the green light to reopen right away. In fact, Judge Thomason mentioned Mountainside in a footnote, writing, Mountainside's public statements about reopening on August 11th have no basis in the court's August 4th order. So the gyms can't legally open on Tuesday. They just have the right to be able to apply to reopen by that day. Any gym or other establishment that opens before getting official permission from the state of Arizona could be subject to criminal penalties. They could be subject to civil penalties. Getting you know mixed views about what's going to happen, what's not going to happen. Thousands of Arizonans are hoping to get back into gyms and get rid of that extra pandemic weight. Newly arrived college student Chase says he'd work out if he could. I would definitely mask up, you know, spray handlebars with sanitize wear gloves maybe, you know, I'd take probably the extra precaution, but I think I would go. I stopped my membership um, a while back. But the general risk of being in an enclosed space, breathing hard for an hour or so, may be enough to keep people away. And the ambiguity in this situation doesn't help either. If I felt like I could have an environment like I used to have and work out, yes, I would absolutely be good with that. Again, the administration has to have a process set up to allow gyms to apply to reopen by Tuesday. So tune in on Tuesday to see what those standards are that the state releases and whether or not any gyms have met those standards to be able to reopen, because this one is far from over. In Phoenix, Mitch Carr, 12 News.